Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Bernadette from Burn Stitches. Happy Tuesday everyone. It's been about two weeks since my last video. I have some exciting whips and a finish to show you and my market haul is here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, thank you so much for uh, coming back to this channel every other week. I have received a lot of messages that, you know, they're very excited that I will be trying my best to do a bi-weekly video. So really excited to see that support from the community. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you all keep coming back and keep enjoying this segment. So it's been about two weeks, like I said. Um, I have one finish to show and this is very much on theme with the weather here in the Bay Area. We are now in spring season. So it, I've been loving it. It's been like, it's been going between like 60s um, to like, I think at one point it did reach 70 here. So that's been really fun. I've been able to sit outside on the deck and stitch and just enjoy the sun. So that's been really nice. And so with that, I present to you my latest finish. This is also a new start. Uh, this is Tis Spring by Brenda Gervais from With Thy Needle and Thread. This is so pretty. Um, let me just see if I can showcase this. So this is what the kit looks like. So I purchased this kit from Farm Girl Dry Goods when, um, when this kit was released last February, last month. And so I picked up the entire kit. You do get a, um, an option to just pick up the chart if you'd like. I think the chart is about nine to twelve dollars. But I picked up the kit because I didn't have a lot of the called for colors and I really liked how the model was stitched and so I didn't want to sub it with what I have in stash. So I went ahead and um, just, you know, asked for the kit. So the kit came with the chart, all of the flosses and thread or all the all the thread, the fabric. So the fabric that it came with is a 40 count fabric. This is vintage country mocha. And then it also came with the finishing supplies, which is really exciting. So with that, um, it came with this fabric right here. And it also came with Rick Rack. So I will be turning this into a pillow so that I can use the materials and hopefully it will look like this when I'm done. It was really fun. I know I say this all the time and I feel like I sound like a broken record when I, when I always say like, I love this so much, but honestly, that's just how I feel with most of the, not most, but like a lot, almost all of the projects that I work on. So here it is again. So, um, this is the very first time that I've done Lazy Daisy stitches. So here is what it looks like close up. These were so cool. Um, I was a little intimidated. I did have to watch a bunch of um, videos on how to do it. Just because like the graphic. Um, I found like an article online, but I couldn't really wrap my hand around it by just like looking at like the the you know, like the instructions. So I went ahead and watched the video, which was super helpful. And yeah, I was able to do it. It didn't take very long. Um, so like I said, this is a new start and finish. I actually finished this within two stitching days. So I spent two Saturdays in a row and I literally just sat outside and just, you know, finish this. The one thing that I, um, didn't do as instructed is on the instruction it actually tells you to take this robin's egg color plus the the pink color and dip it in coffee 
and then bake it just so that it looks a little bit muter in color but I was a little scared to do that and so I decided to just leave it alone and I actually really like how it turned out so I'm completely okay with that but you know if you do want to follow the instructions to a T that is what you have to do so yeah again this is called to spring by Brenda Gervais from with thy needle and thread so really excited um I need to take this down because it's you know Valentine's Day has come and gone and that way I can display my spring stitching so this is my second project that is spring themed I finished that bunny car last the last video update and so I'm starting an arsenal I did have two other charts from Brenda Gervais for spring that came out this year it's super cute um I'm thinking I'm I'm probably not gonna stitch anymore but I'll probably do this sometime next year so I have this other one I showed this on my last video this is grandma's candy dish super cute it's a bunny sitting in like a basket and then <clears throat> this is um what's this called hoppy easter so this one is super duper cute so um i have future spring projects along with the bunny car that i also will be doing again next year because there's eight of them so i think every year i will start both of these together and basically make an army so yeah i hope you enjoyed it that is my one finish i think i'm doing pretty well i have been really enjoying these bite-sized snacks as you call it just because you know it is it feels instant gratification when you finish it compared to like when i work on really large projects it just takes a very long time to finish and sometimes you know it could take like a year or two to finish but having these like small projects be you know finished right away like that just gives me a boost to work on my other projects and actually also see it finished um <clears throat> so yeah that is my um that is my new start and finish so Let's go through the rest of my whips that I worked on in the last few weeks. So the last time we talked, um, I was trying to work on Boutique by Soda Stitch. And I had made a little bit more progress than last time. Um, let's see. So this is where i've left off i have a habit of leaving floating needles so this is my progress so far on boutique i am pretty much just working my way through this is taking a little bit longer than i'd like but also i haven't really spent you know as much time as i used to um just because like work has been really really busy so um i'm not getting as much progress as i used to but that's okay i really enjoy it still um so i'm just gonna continue working on this saturdays i know also the last two saturdays i didn't really work on it because i wanted to prioritize this spring but what i ended up doing was i ended up swapping one of the days so that i can work on boutique so um i'm just gonna keep this on for soda stitch saturday so i can continue finishing it so i'm pretty much like i only have this much left like this is the making of the couch and then it's just back stitch i'm not going to stitch the word that says boutique so um this is what the cover looks like it's called boutique by soda stitch I purchased this off Etsy so um, for those that are new because I know a few of you have reached out to me asking for the pattern this is a pattern that is um, like a part of a series called 
pop-up stores there's about 12 of them and so if you buy the paper pattern the paper pattern comes in three so there's four sets and then if you buy it on etsy you can buy them individually so um, that's what I have. I have all 12 patterns, but I bought them all individually. They're about $4 each on Etsy if you catch it when it's on sale. So it's really affordable because you don't also have to buy all 12 at the same time. You can just, you know, you can just buy it as you finish each one. So yeah, it's really cute. Again, this is what it looks like. This is stitched on 32 count fiber licious yummy fibers called Plum Blossom. This was a fabric of the month. Um, this is fabric of the month. Um, sorry, I just had like a really big transaction pop up. So I need to investigate what that is. Um, this is from a Fabric of the Month Club a few years ago, I think. And so I really love this color, purple, 32 count, stitch two over two. I am using my AMO threads for this one that I purchased off AliExpress. They are basically like um, DMC-like, they're Egyptian cotton egyptian cotton flosses um they're really nice i really like them as a dmc alternative it's a bit more affordable because you can buy the entire um set uh for about 45 dollars on aliexpress so you know if you have like a really large project um it's like a good alternative if you don't like cxc like yeah so yeah this is boutique okay um Next up, so on the 13th, I like to work on sale of the Bubbling Cauldron. So for this month, um, I ended up working on this two days in a row just because I was, um, I was just on a roll. Like I didn't want to put it down. So this is my progress so far on sale of the bubbling cauldron oh my gosh it looks amazing uh this is by praiseworthy stitches i started this last year at stitch west with my friend jordan the tattooed stitcher this was one of our stitch west retreat starts um yeah this is really pretty i've been trying to stitch on this at least once a month um you know, sometimes it's like you don't appreciate, like at least, at least for me, that's what I feel like. Cause like staring at this on the camera, I'm just like, whoa, this looks amazing. Um, but yeah, I've been, you know, steadily like just making small progress here and there every single month, but wow, it's really coming to life. This is amazing. This is on 32 count, um, fabric from Nicholas Flamel. This is part of the Harry Potter potions collection. Uh, this is like that purpley one. So really beautiful. Um, let me see if I can find the cover photo. Um, this is on my Coraline bag from Sheba Designs. Um, So this is what the design looks like. So it's not as big as the other haunted mansion. Like I mentioned before, this is about half the size. So it's really doable if you want to get into the haunted Halloween series from Praiseworthy. They release pretty much like a haunted house every single year. And so, yeah, it's been really fun. I've been collecting them. Um, I'm going to start a new one as soon as I'm done with this. I finished Widow Black, Wid Widow's Black BNB last year. So that has been really great um, to add to um, yeah. my, you know, design like pattern collection. Um, yeah, I think the one thing um, I know that some you know you don't necessarily need like a like a lower count so i have this on 32 like i think jordan is stitching hers on 40 um 36 or 40 
one of those but basically the one thing I do have to say is there is one over one stitching and so minus 32 counts so it's not so bad but just take that um just take that into consideration like a lot of these are like one over one so um I still have like a little bit to go in here and then yeah so just be careful if you're gonna use higher count there are, there are some one over one stitching I've done one over one stitching on 40 I have that in one of my other designs and wow I feel like I need like magnifiers in order to see the whole so just be on the lookout for this so yeah I stitched on that for two days um I really love it so I'm excited. I'm going to continue. My goal is to finish this by Hall Halloween this year. So we shall see. I'm probably going to make this like a focus piece one of the months so I can really make significant progress. Okay, so I actually have one other new start um, since my last video aside from to spring. So this one, I have been meaning to start this, but I haven't had a chance to just because I've been a little bit um, busier than usual. But um, I think I mentioned this before, but I am now a Whimsy, which is Teresa Koget's Patreon club. So I um, am part of the highest tier because I wanted to participate in her mystery cell, which is called Hometown. It's going to be a two-year cell. Yeah, two years. I thought she made an error, but then when I joined the club, I really read that it is two years. So this is, um, we're on part three right now. This is what's released. It's really cool. Like, I'm super excited. Like, well, here it is close up. There's some sheeps in here. So I'm super excited. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to um, be a part of this sal. So I started this. Uh, have not, <laughs> have not caught up, but this is my start so far. I am stitching this on thirty-six count milk chocolate by XJU Design. It is so cool. I freaking love this so much. This is what I have so far. This is one day stitching. Like um, on the 15th, my company had like a company wide day off. Um, and so I took advantage of that. I plopped myself down on the couch all, all day watching the Love is Blind reunion. And I just went to town on this design. So this is just one day stitching and this is how far I've gotten. I'm Super excited to try to catch up before the next release. So um, Teresa just released part three on the 15th. And so the next one will be released next month in April 15. Um, so I'm hoping I'll be able to um, be as close to finishing up part three by then so I can be caught up, but not a big deal. This is a two year style, so got a long way to go. But yeah, I'm really excited. This is um, really cool. I am just using the DMC um, called for. So one thing I love about Teresa, like I said before, it's really easy to like start up her patterns because she uses a lot of DMCs and then a handful of over dyes. And so most of the time, you know, the over dyes, you might have it on stash or maybe you're just okay using the DMC. So super easy to start. These, I just pulled all the DMC from stash. I think these are actually AMO. Again, I have like a large collection of those non-DMC alternatives just because I wanted to try a bunch. So I bought a few different brands um, from AliExpress last year. But yeah, really cool. Um, I can't wait to continue stitching on these. Um, look at that willow tree. I think that's called the willow, right? Um, but yeah, really cool. I can't wait to get to the sheeps. I freaking love livestocks on um, 
um, pattern. So yeah, like I said, milk chocolate. The called for fabric is Up in the Attic by um, Fox and Rabbit, but the 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 up in the attic one that I have is like really dark and so there's a lot of browns in this um you know in here and so I just wanted a slightly lighter one but not too light so yeah I really like the the milk chocolate um according to Teresa a fat quarter of 36 or 40 count should be sufficient for this project so yeah okay hometown style all right what is next um worked on my secret stitch i will showcase that after stitch was i'm really excited i'll i'm taking lots of pictures so i can share that um okay so mira monday um mira monday Ooh, what did i drop Oh, it's fine. Um, Mira Monday, I've pretty much stuck with the same Mira all throughout March, and that is Thanksgiving Fairy by Mirabilia. So, um, I have finally moved the hoop. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually finished the top half. Let me, let me take it out of the hoop for now just so you can see my progress um i'm very excited i am also when trying to finish it this year it's very small so this is my progress so far um so i finished the wings and everything and the face i just need to backstitch it later um yeah and then now i'm working down here so this is yeah this is the true color in case like my camera sometimes washes it off but this is the true color this is 32 count linen again from nicholas flamel this one is from his vegetable garden collection um the i think it's like a squash color or something like that but yeah um i love i just absolutely love like his fabrics are so soft. They're, they remind me of XJU designs, um, XJU. Um, they're very soft. They're actually also both from Hungary. Um, so maybe it's the Swigard that they get. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice to stitch on these. I cut mine to size. Um, I think this is just a fat eight of a quarter. So um, yeah, definitely more than enough fabric. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I, again, I'm hoping to finish it this year. She's quite small, so it usually doesn't take me that long. I've This is my third um, Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving. This is my third um, fairy from this series. So I have the entire series. Um, Nora has a bunch of these. So there's also like the New Year's Eve fairy, Valentine's Day. Easter I've already um I've already finished Halloween and Christmas so this is my third one this is the first time I'm actually switching out the fabric because the first two I used the the one from the kit which is um raw natural so yeah I really like this it's I think it's pretty um so yeah, I'm just going to continue working on this. Um, I make significant progress. I was only working on this once a week during Mira Monday. So um, you can definitely do a lot if you like dedicate like a few days a week on this. You can definitely finish it. The other two that I did, I finished those in like, like seven stitching day 7 14 like le like basically i think max is like 14 but yeah this is what it will look like when it's finished it's beautiful 
the basically is gonna be a lot of like block color stitching which is something that i really love i i know a lot of people might like find that boring but i love block stitches basically like i power through those those are my jam so yeah really excited um this will keep this project bag i love shiba designs but like look at the pumpkins they're so pretty okay <clears throat> so that was it for mira monday and then um my next project is this project village of hawkron hollow um i wanted to finish this block this month but you know i basically had to do like a color conversion of my color conversion i had to reconvert my color conversion because it wasn't looking like what i wanted it to be so i redid it and i'm much happier with the color i am powering through this block it's a little bit tougher because there's so much white stitching um <laughs> like these I'm still filling these out but these are white so are all of these like fences I'm already finished with this but I don't even think you can tell that I actually did fill that in with white but that says St. Peter's Church and yeah so it's a little bit sad that like you can't really tell that it's stitched I almost wanted to leave it alone but I already did like the bottom of the fence and it's kind of weird to like leave the top half without it so and I don't want to unpick what I did because then it will have like a gaping hole and that will bug me so I'm just gonna power through um honestly it's not too bad if you break it up so like um what I've been doing is like I'm gonna finish like a color and then I'll go back to white and then once I'm done with that then I go to a different color just so it's not so you know not so boring which is kind of ironic because i just said i love block stitching but i guess like asterisk sign disclosure not when it's all white stitching so um i get bored when it's white um also um i think last time i said that i was using blanc as the white i actually am wrong when i looked up my conversion notes I am actually doing white, um, white wash from Weeks Dye Works. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm very excited. I'm going to continue to finish this. Hopefully, you will see this block finish in the next month. I'm very excited. It's a large project, you guys. I think there's like, I think there's like 9 or 12 blocks and so it's gonna be a forever project i can't remember and i have a lot of other hot front hollows that i want to do it's 12 i'm only in here but man look at this next one that's gonna be fun so like after like i'm done with this it's like where do i go i can go here 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 like there's so many choices so I'm very excited. I might just power through. I mean, technically, I don't even need to finish this block. Like, I can just start the outline. But also, I'm just like, I'm also like a completionist. So I do want to finish this as well. So we shall see. All right. Then, what happens? Um, ow, what is that? I think I just pricked myself with a needle. Um, okay, and then finally, my last project that I worked on is, of course, my Bella Filipina poison apple. So I've like worked on these. Um, this I think it's like a the banner. It will I will fill this in and it will say Snow White down here. I also started to fill in the border right here. These are both, these are both petite treasure braids. Um, 
So when I purchased Poison Apple, I purchased this from Brandy from Be Stitch Me because she was offering like a 15 or 20% discount if you buy the, the kit. And so I'm not gonna say no to a discount. So um, there was an option if I wanted Krynik or Petite Treasure Braid and I wanted Petite Treasure Braid. So I went ahead with that option. The only thing was like, um, and I think it's this fabric, it's a me problem, but um, so I'm stitching this on a 32 count Lugana by High and Dye by Rolanda. And I did not like how the, um, I did not like the one strand of Petite Treasure Braid on this one. At least I didn't at first, and so I doubled it. But because I doubled it, I ran out, and so I had to go to one, two, three stitch and buy more. Now, this gold one, I actually am doing this over one, like just using one strand, and it actually fills out really well. So I think it's just a dark one that I was having some issues. So it also could just be a me problem because I have seen someone else do this and they used one and theirs look fine. Um, I think I just wanted like a fuller like arch. So um, the next two designs, the Alice in Wonderland and Jasmine, I think I'm just gonna do one. Um, but yeah, it's so pretty. I make progress on this every single week. Bella Filipina Friday hosted by Grace of Gracefully Slow Stitcher. She is on Instagram. And James, James the, James the PH Stitcher, he is on Instagram and YouTube. He has a floss tube. He does a lot of fancy ladies. So feel free to check out his channel. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm trying to decide for this Friday, do I want to continue like finishing these? Should I fill it out? We shall see. You'll see on my next update what comes of this. I might just finish this actually, we'll see. I don't know. We'll find out what my heart desires when I pick this up on Friday. So really pretty. I'm very excited. You know, I have been doing this like switching up of um, projects pretty much like almost every single day. What's been helping me because back in the day, I used to think it's very daunting, but I think the fact that I put all of my projects in hoops, like whatever project I wanna work on for that month, when I put them already on like the Nerge hoops or Q snaps, it's very easy for me to then switch a project because then I'll just take it out of my Lowry stand, go here and pick up a different project compared to before where, the reason why I don't like switching is because I have to then load it up and sometimes that takes a while. Like that seems silly to some people because like it doesn't really take that long, but to me it does because I can never put on some of the fabrics like straight. So <laughs> it takes me a while to get there um, and find like the grime guards and everything. So loading it up before the start of the following month has been really helpful. So. I will um, continue to do that because that seems to be working out for me. So yeah, um, that is actually all of my whips for um, for for this um, for this update. That was really fast. I love this. Um, okay, so let me go through some haul and then let's talk about plans. So haul um i picked up um two floss packs from victoria motto just because i couldn't resist i don't have these colors but this is like from the favorite pastels collection it's very spring i was like in a very springy mood when i was went shopping so this one is so pretty and then these are the Summer Brights collection. So really bright. Um, I love Victoria Motto. You can find it on Etsy. Um, I think the flosses are really affordable. I think it's $2.50. 
if you price it up so she doesn't they don't actually like sell these by skein they are they're usually on like a floss pack but um when i price it out it usually comes to around 250 per skein and each skein is 20 yards you guys 20 yards so that's really affordable don't know how they do it i'm not questioning it really beautiful i'm gonna add this as part of my stash um next up i got my grace notes fabric of the month this almost got lost in the mail i was kind of nervous because um i live in the bay um i live next to sf and so um this has reached the sf post office last wednesday and then usually it gets to me either that same day or like the day after and then i was like how come it says it's not arriving until monday and it just kept saying like moving to the next facility and i was like that's weird it's next door but finally came yesterday I'm so excited because it's a beautiful spring fabric yeah this is the color it's called spring breeze i have um this is the fabric of the month club from grace knows i am on the 40 count club it is gorgeous gorgeous it's very spring I'm trying to get the right light but yeah it's very spring oh so beautiful all right um what else i bought some floss drops floss tags um from sweet autumn stitch it came in this package it's so beautiful this is in preparation for my stitch west new starts um so first of all i bought these two floss rings very springy it's like a watering can look how cute and then this one i bought because it has like a bird's nest it is beautiful and then for the flush drops, I got this bird. This one. And this one. Oh, they're so cute. And then she gave me a free gift, which is basically this Easter egg zipper pull so i'll be sticking that because i need to make project bags for these two projects i've been so good i haven't bought any project bags lately which is very bizarre believe me i tried really hard i keep xing out i have stuff in my car from shiba and then i exit out because i'm like i have fabrics i should make my own we'll see but yeah really pretty sweet autumn stitch from etsy okay and then finally, my market haul. So I bought my market haul from Abby, the Top Knot Stitcher. So this isn't part of market, but I do get this auto ship. This is the fourth house from the Fabulous House series. So this is Cottage. So this is what it looks like. She just ended up shipping everything to me all at once to save on shipping. And I got a shipping credit, so works for me all right so market um i showed it to you before like in pictures what i'm gonna get so i got scenic sampler from heartstring samplery it is so pretty it's very spring it is beautiful and then I bought stars from Plum Street Samplers. I'm a sucker for houses and look at that. It is beautiful. And of course, I had to pick up my Teresa Colgate Hello Spring book because I love it. Specifically, I wanted it for this project which I am gonna find so I can show you. This one, Sweet Wren, look at the bird. It has a hat. 
It is so cute. I might start that because it's just too cute, but I love this book. Um, I have now collected three of these. So I have the spring, I have the Halloween, and I have autumn. So I'm excited for Hello Winter when it comes out, but I love Teresa Kogut, so really excited. I'm going to be picking up the rest of the... I'm going to pick up Serenity and like the other market stuff that I wanted to pick up when I get to Stitch West and I'm going to go on a shopping spree. Um, okay, and finally, I like was completely done, right? Like already did everything and then Abby is like, um, I'm ready to take pre-orders for Fox and Rabbit's new market colors. So I was like, all right. I'm gonna add one more why not so these are the two i purchased inca and this is dust bunny so these are so pretty i got the 40 count fabric of both of them they are beautiful so really excited you can never have enough fabrics okay like you know I don't just hoard. I actually do use up my fabrics, which is great because when you use it, you can replace it with new ones. That is my philosophy. Um, okay, so that's it for my haul. Um, oh, I wanted to show you. This is not really cross-stitch related, but I wanted to show it anyway. Um, uh, this is the, what is this? This is my Riley Blake fabrics that I was waiting on so I can do the bunny pillow that I made, the strawberry car. And so I basically bought this pack of Fat Quarter. Yeah, it's called Bunny Trail Fat Quarter. And it's finally here. So I'm gonna be making me some pillows. Yeah. All right. So that's it for my haul. Okay, so plans. Um, we are now in the last week of March. So last week of March will stay as is. I am going to just continue with, you know, the usual projects that I just showed you. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you. I had a Zoom call with my table for ladies. So I had a call with Sarah, Memphis Sarah E, Denise of Black Ribbon Stitch Studios and Jordan, Tap Tube Stitcher last Sunday on the 24th. I can't believe I forgot. What was I thinking? Um, but we had our group call um, and I actually worked a little bit on going to grandma's. I can't believe I didn't, I almost forgot to mention that. Um, but this is my progress. It doesn't seem like a lot because I had to frog this and then restitched it. So I guess it's the same progress, but correct now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is my progress. Um, I need to hurry up because it's gonna be two o'clock and my meeting's gonna start soon. Um, but yeah, it was really fun chatting with the ladies. Um, I miss them. Um, we I gave Denise homework to go watch Love is Blind because she lives in Charlotte and I wanna know if she has bumped into these people in real life. You know, that'd be funny. Um, okay, so sorry okay so april um i will be back with my next video um the week that i leave for stitch west so that next video is when i will be showing you what i'm packing for stitch west so that would be fun and i'll show you like all of my retreat stuff that i bring over which will be new um i learned from the last two that i went and so i'm gonna be packing up some stuff that i'll show you and then in terms of start so not stars but in terms of like things i'm planning so i'm gonna do two new starts for stitch west that i'll show you on the next video um april soda stitch i think i'm gonna stick with boutique until that's done 
and then once that's done i'm either picking up the animal hospital which is another pop-up series that i started or i think i might pick up the ice cream ladies and you know work on that because i haven't picked that up we'll see um so there's that um bella filipina friday will stay at snow white until that's done mira monday what should i start for mira monday oh the mira monday so for mira monday in april i don't know why I like was planning on this. I'm going to um, be picking up Miss Cherry Blossom for the month of April. So <laughs> I'm gonna um, have some progress on that. So I'm really excited. And then I'm gonna try to finish block two of Village of Hawkron Hollow. And I'm gonna have a few starts because April is my birthday month. So I am going to be starting the Shepherd Song by Plum Street which I need to kit up when I get to Shepherd's Bush. And I am also going to start Spring Quaker by Leela Studio. So excited. Um, if any of you would like to join me on those, um, let me know and I'd love to stitch those with you. So yeah, um, I think that's it. I'm going to end the video now because like I said, I got to go run. This is like, I didn't eat lunch so I can film this video. So I'm gonna just grab my food and get ready for my meeting. Um, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in a few weeks. Talk to y'all later. Bye.